I know I started uh, gaining my testimony about the gospel, about the Book of Mormon, in uh, basically in seminary, so pretty much around high school. So you know, during those years, when you know you try to figure figure out, you know, what really matters, what the, what what's true and what's not true, things like that. Um, seminary was. Um, like the time when I really started to actually read the Book of Mormon and read the other standard works of the church. Um, and so I definitely um, credit uh, you know, my, my time, the time I spent in seminary. It was early morning seminary in Minnesota. Um, but I'm very grateful I took the time to go to, to, to that because um, I, um, I never really started to read or study the scriptures until then. I never prayed about the scriptures until that time in my life, um, and I know that um, besides the thi and you know reinforcing the things in in my mind and heart, the things I had been taught all my life in primary and at home, and um, that's when my um, uh, starting from that point and going on even to my first year of college is when I. I I knew the gospel was true, and I knew I needed to serve a mission to share it with other people because that's what God expected me, to, uh, wanted me to do. Uh, and I felt that I wanted to do that. So definitely, uh, seminary um, was um, a tremendous, um, a tremendous asset for me. Um, the scripture masteries as well. You know, knowing all of those, um, I um, so I'm very grateful. I took the time to. Um, work on work on that. Yeah, I got my mission call actually on St. Patrick's Day of 2010, and um, so um, it was very uh, very exciting. And um, I was even more I was even more shocked to realize that I would be that I would be leaving on my mission like two months later in May of 2010. So I did I you know the physical stuff like getting the clothes and the suitcase. I didn't have a lot of time, but. I always had everything I needed throughout my mission, so um, no problem there. Um, the MTC was a whole different world to me. Um, uh, yeah, um, just like I remember my first day of the missionary training center. It, it, it felt to me like a whirlwind of of a uh, whirl of of white shirts and of ties, suitcases, and brick buildings. Um, so um, for those who you know, are worried about um, the uh, about the missionary training center. Um, everyone else is worried, uh, especially if you're learning a new language. I didn't have to learn a new language, but um, like even you know English-speaking missionaries, like like I was, um, I still felt I had a lot to learn. And just like the role-playing things in the MTC, um, that those are the most nerve-wracking moments, um, but. I also knew they were the most helpful, so I, I went through it and I, you know, you know, prayed for these pretend investigators, but um, even though they were role-playing situations, um, it's amazing how much the Spirit guides you even in those moments as well. Uh, so, um, so, yeah, I definitely do know that, you know, before the Missionary Training Center and during the Missionary Training Center, um, not only studying the gospel, but also paying attention to the spirit were the big things that I was learning a lot about and that proved to be like among the most important skills uh, for, for my mission. Yeah. I enjoyed the MTC a lot. Um, it was a lot of work and it was a lot of, it was a lot of good work. It was, it was a lot of the Lord's work, so it was also uh, fun, I felt. So I was there for three weeks. Um, I know it's I know the time now is shorter. I, th I think English-speaking missionaries would probably be there for like two weeks now or something, uh, two and a half weeks, something like that. But yeah, basically, as nervous as you may feel um, about about the mission or about the MTC, just you know, go for it. And remembering that basic principle of faith um, has gotten me through many um, many things.